Oh, we're starting to get that feeling. The holidays are here and a big tradition is going to kick off tomorrow night in San Antonio. In today's KSAT Q&A, we have Megan Kuntz joining us. She is the event manager for Light the Way at UIW, University of the Incarnate Word. Megan, thanks for being here. This is such a cool event every single year. So talk about what's going to happen tomorrow, maybe for people who this is their first time taking an interest in this. Absolutely. Um, thank you for having me on. Um, this is a 35-year uh, tradition with uh, our university. Um, it grew from being something that there's just the students put on in our convocation center, uh, which we outgrew pretty quickly. <laughs> and then it, we even outgrew the football stadium as well. And now it's a campus wide event, um, which lasts um, uh, almost all day. The gates will open at three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have our lighting ceremony at six. Uh, and then the evening will conclude with a beautiful uh, fireworks display at 930. So you just said that it starts at three o'clock uh, and you guys, we can finally check out the lights uh, at six o'clock. But I'm wondering about other events. We know that this is basically for the family, so kids can go there and enjoy this too, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, there's a, a little something for everybody uh, at Light the Way. Um, we're delighted to be back in person this year um, and we're going to have everybody's kind of classic favorite things. So we're going to have um, all kinds of delicious things um, in our food truck area. Uh, we're going to have live music uh, at the front of campus uh, all day. Uh, we're going to have a vendor's uh, alley where you can do a little bit of Christmas shopping uh, ahead of time. And then there's a kid's corner, which is just for, uh, the, just for the little ones, where they can meet um, Santa. They can play some games. They can play with our student athletes. Um, they can even get to, um, some hot chocolate and some baked goods from Bird Bakery. Uh, there's a little something for everybody at, uh, at Light the Way. I cannot wait to drive by and see all of those lights. You said more than a million, well over a million lights. So the campus is beautiful itself. And you know, last year, having the ability to drive through and see something festive, it was a good time for yeah. that last year. And Light the Way still happened, but it definitely looked different last year compared to this year. So in, in terms of COVID, what are you all doing to try to keep people safe this year? Absolutely. Uh, we have some uh, mild COVID protocols. Um, if you're not able to... Uh, be a distance from everybody else if you just want to pop a mask on uh, before you play some games, if you just want to make use of the hand sanitizer that's going to be free flowing all around the event. Uh, that's good. That's uh, one of the main things. Um, it's also entirely outside this year. Uh, so everybody's going to be in the fresh air um, and able to really space out around our gorgeous campus. Um, and those are some of the things that we've done to, to try to mitigate any sort of um, uh, hazardous things and just make sure that all of our guests are uh, as safe and able to enjoy the event. And how many people can your event hold? I know that it's outside, but. Uh, absolutely. Um, in the past couple of years, um, we've had about 10,000 people um, join us on campus throughout the course of the day. Wow, 10,000 people throughout the day. And, and Steve Spreester, he hosts this usually every year. I had a chance to do it with him one year when it was actually cold. So that ah. really added to the to the festivities. So what does it mean for not only all of San Antonio that gets to do this, but the campus itself to have such a tradition like this that's going 35 years strong? I, I have to imagine that's something that everybody there at UIW looks forward to. It really is. Um, it's one of those things that's on the, the calendar all year round. Um, you can see uh, us prepare for it all year round. Um, our electrical staff are up on cherry pickers, either putting up the lights, taking down the lights, inspecting the lights. Uh, the lights are a pretty big part of the landscape here at UHW. And it's just it's one of those things where San Antonio is one of the towns that does the holidays probably the best. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just so happy to be part of the holiday landscape in such a remarkable and beautiful place that San Antonio is. Um, and to be part of it for 35 years is, it's, it's, it's just something that we always look forward to as a community. And Meg, when you talk about we doing the event, uh, does we include the students? Are they also a big part of this? They absolutely are. Uh, we couldn't do without uh, the wonderful student volunteers that help us throughout the course of the year. Um, there's actually a, a, a series of days in September where we bring all of the old light strands into one of the ballrooms and the students and the staff and the alumni and any sort of visiting um, family and friends. We sit there and we go through every single strand of light oh, and every wow. single light bulb <laughs> and we make sure that everything is glowing and, and just good to go to, to really dazzle and uh, bring about the, the holiday spirit in San Antonio. 
That's got to be worth some extra credit, right? I mean, going, going yeah. for a million plus bulbs. So for families who want to put this on their calendar for this weekend, but they want to make sure that they see the lights when that switch is flipped and the fireworks, what's the best timing to get there? Uh, well, the, the, the lights are being flipped on at 6 o'clock, um, and then the uh, fireworks will go off at 9.30. All right, perfect. And also, you're working with HEB on this event also as well. Could you please tell us how they contributed? Absolutely. Um, HEB is by far our biggest supporter on this event, um, and they've been uh, our title sponsor um, of Light the Way since 2004. They've really stepped up and they continue to, to support the event because they understand that um, celebrating not only with our community, but with the, the San Antonio community at large, even during times when we're scared and we're in a pandemic, it's moments like this that where we where we come together as a community and we're able to like get outside of ourselves and celebrate something larger. They understand that it's these moments that like really, really make our community shine, especially during the holidays. Literally. And so HEB, <laughs> HEB continues to be a steadfast supporter of Light the Way. Yes, ma'am. OK, so for before we go here, where on the campus do people need to go tomorrow around six o'clock and tickets, parking, things like that? What do people need to know? Well, there are no tickets because it is a free event. We want to make sure that everybody can come and enjoy. Perfect. Um, if you would like to park, there's parking in our NCR parking garage and in the Founders parking garage. Um, and then uh, when you want to actually come watch the lights be flipped on and the best place to see the fireworks is going to be at the front of our campus in front of the Diane Bennett Concert Hall. All right. Megan Kuntz with University of the Incarnate Word. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for KSAT Q&A. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. And good luck tomorrow. We'll be right back.